Hello, I'm Eloise Hare and I'm an actor and model. I originally grew up in Norfolk and I went to drama school at Trinity Laban where I trained in musical theatre. Um, so I graduated in 2015 and I carried on living in Greenwich for about five years after that. I've worked in all sorts of theatre from theatre and education to pantomime, children's theatre, Shakespeare, open air theatre, comedies, actor musician productions. I've done loads of different stuff and I absolutely love it. Um, I got into modelling just after lockdown. Um, I was looking for a new creative outlet when all of the theatres were closed um, and I discovered modelling um, and I've had a really good time developing my skills in that area as well. I love doing open air theatre. I've done five seasons of open air theatre touring around the UK and I've been to some amazing venues and I've done shows that I've absolutely loved including The Great Gatsby, A Midsummer Night's Dream, Twelfth Night, um, a really fun murder mystery project that we all devised together and this year I'm adapting my own version of The Secret Garden which we're touring all around the south of England. We've written the show, we've written the music, we've built the set, we've organised the whole thing. Um, so I'm now really doing what I love. Uh, can you explain what The Secret Garden is about? Yes, I can. Um, so, The Secret Garden, we've adapted it from the Francis Hodgson Burnett book, um, the classic children's book about Mary and Colin who find this secret garden that's been locked up for 10 years. Um, Mary moved over to Yorkshire to live with her uncle when her parents died. She moved from India and she was a bit of a sour child. Everyone describes her as really contrary. So I have a lot of fun playing that part. And she then discovers that there's this garden that's been locked up and no one's been into it. And Mr. Craven, her uncle, won't let anyone go into it. So she tries to find the garden. She finds the garden and then she also discovers that there's a boy living in the house who is uh, Mr. Craven's son, who has never really left his room. He thinks that he's going to get a hunchback like his father um, and he thinks he's really ill and that he's going to die. And Mary thinks, if I bring him out into the garden, I will make him realise that he can get well. Um, she meets another boy called Dickon who plays on the moor every day and can speak to animals and Mary and Colin think that he's really magic and they think that the garden is magic um, and so our show just shows how the garden really comes alive um, and as they bring it back to life the kids kind of come back to life as well. Uh, they rediscover their love for nature, for playing, they realise how important it is to spend time outdoors and to be kind to each other. Um, so we've just tried to really capture that enchanting, magical feel of the original story um, with loads of music and puppetry in it as well.